The human person is created to praise, reverence, and serve God our Lord, and by doing so, to save his or her soul and the souls around all of us. All other things, such as genetic reproductive technologies and other various medical technologies, are created for human beings in order to help them pursue the end for which they are created, to live as people working for the betterment of the world as a whole. It follows from this that one must use other created things insofar as they help towards one's end in keeping humans healthy and disease free, and free oneself from them insofar as they are obstacles to one's end. To do this, we need to make ourselves indifferent to all created things, not to say that we cannot enjoy certain things. But all actions and all objects, in the end, receive the a same amount of passion and attention, yet all in the end heal in comparison to our original purpose. I truly believe that we should want health more than illness, wealth more than poverty, fame more than disgrace, a long life more than a short one, and similarly for all the rest, so long as these gifts are used in a manner to propel us to our telos as humans. We should desire and choose only what helps us more towards the end for which we are created, and for most of us, these aforementioned states of being would assist us in just that. The extended discussion of genetic reproductive engineering is where I found God the most in our time meeting as a class. To me, God expresses himself in the field of medicine, and the prescriptions, surgeries that are used on patients are a natural extension of, human, of God into our lives as humans. Genetic reproductive technologies are next in the evolution of medicine, therefore, God must be present in this innovation as well. These technologies have the potential to eradicate some of the most incurable diseases and conditions known to mankind before they have the ability to make an impact on the subject's life. Ultimately, this will create less pain and less suffering for the next generations to come. I believe this is God's goal. God wants us to be joyful. Joy is a life absence of pain and suffering. Leading a healthier and safer life allows us to come closer to our calling on earth and grants us the opportunity to tackle this vocation more wholeheartedly with the maximum amount of potential as possible. This goal is to uh, praise and serve God, giving the future of humanity the possibility of living without the overarching possibility of disease and early death allows them to flourish as a society and create even greater enhancements to ameliorate other aspects of life. The basis of life is good health, and before any greater progress is to be made, a clean bill of health for the majority of the population is necessary. These technologies are an example of something that fosters human freedom to progress and develop the next great benefit to humankind which certainly God will be present in. God provides the possibilities for certain things to come to fruition for humankind so that he can continue to reveal himself further and further to us in daily life. Today it is genetic reproductive technologies and tomorrow it is an economically friendly and sustainable food force that holds the potential to put a solid dent into world hungry. Whatever it may be, God continues to reveal himself in human achievement and genetic reproductive technologies are just another step in a long line of possibilities God has set forth for us to discover.